What day is it? What year? 2018. What happened here? Judgment Day happened. How are you, Mr. McGee? I'm doing well, my friend. What's happening? Oh, fantastic. Terminator Salvation is... What do you think of the movie? I love it. Who knew? Yeah, well, the idea is for the movie to work for the passionate, but also work for the uninitiated, so people who aren't familiar with the Terminator can come in and say, wow, that's a really compelling story, and I like becoming stories. You see a guy become the leader of the resistance, and the great Christian Bale does a good job along the way. He is fantastic. And so is Sam. Oh, Sam, I think he's the breakout guy of the year, so look out for him. He's in Avatar, the new Jim Cameron movie, yeah. and a whole bunch of films coming out. We've been fighting a long time. We are outnumbered by machines working around the clock without quit. But you are not alone. There are pockets of resistance all around the Earth. This is John Connor. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Well, I've always been a big fan of the franchise, and I didn't really want to make a fourth film. And the first three films were all present day pictures with Terminators coming back in time. And this film indeed takes place after the bombs have gone off, after Judgment Day. So it's the war between humanity versus the machines. And that felt like an interesting way to tell the story. You know, the best part about the film really is like its, its theme, it's got a great big heart. There's heart in the center. Yeah, that's the point, both uh, literally and metaphorically. We wanted it to be all about heart. And what is it that makes us human? Right. What is it that makes us stronger than the machines? And, you can't calculate the strength of humanity when called to task, and that's what the movie's really all about. I just have one quick question. Maybe you can help clarify it. Um, when he was gunning, uh, when, when John Connor was gunning uh, Marcus, and then he was asking him, what are you? But didn't he see something like that back in Terminator 2 already? Uh, no, because in Terminator 2, he sees a T-800 and a T-1000, and they don't have any human organs. And it's the fact that Marcus has a human heart and a bit of a human brain that makes Connor realize, I've never seen a machine like this, and my mother never told me about a machine like this, so therefore, what I thought I knew about the future no longer is true, and all bets are off. And that's where the drama comes from. They know what you are, even if you don't. Enough! That gun ain't gonna stop you. Nobody shot you in the heart and I see that thing beating a mile a minute. Kyle Reese! He's in Skynet. You do that, he's dead. I can get you in. <sighs> Basically, what you have is uh, a young Kyle Reese becoming the great warrior that we know from the first picture. And you see John Connor, as portrayed by Christian Bale, becoming the leader of the resistance. And then you have a man fighting for his humanity and fighting for his heart and for his soul. And though he has a little bit of metal running through him, he's saying, I am not a machine, I am still a man. And we'll have to realize, is he tricking us? Or is he indeed a man? Right, and there's a wink, wink, nudge, nudge to Arnold in this movie. That's fairly put. And uh, we're all here because of the great work that James Cameron has done and the great character that Arnold Schwarzenegger created. And we come from a place of respect. So we hope to honor the mythology of those three movies, but then continue on in a new way and reinvigorate the franchise. And you know what I love about the film, too? It's very Western. There's a Western element. No it's like American it. West. Well, that's what we wanted, and that's what I responded to about the early Star Wars movies. Right. They seem to have that feeling also. And we wanted a difficult world where you're thirsty and you're hungry and it's hard to get food and water. And I'm hopeful that we captured that. Thank you so much. My pleasure, my friend. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. I'll you see too. you out there in the hallway. All right. What are you? I'm the only hope you have. Terminator Salvation. Rated PG-13. In theaters Thursday, May 21st.